You must be crazy. Good morning. <laughs> good afternoon. Good evening, family. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Mental House Sports Edition with your host, Khadija. Uh, I ain't going to waste no time getting to this article. Although I'm in the museum and I know that I got to do a voiceover because I'm just not ready to be on camera right now. However, family, I just got to make a comment and get the feedback on how y'all feel about this crazy, crazy ass Ray Carruth that had the nerve to sell, tell Sandra that let's face it, you don't know, you're not going to be around that long and my son should live with me after he tried to kill the son and did kill the son's mother. Now, if this is not a person now, if this is not a perfect example of somebody that is still self-centered, that uh, in my opinion, I even think his apology was half-hearted and it was, to me is still unacceptable. It's just that he was in denial all the other times. And this time he said, I take responsibility uh, for your daughter not being here. Or I take responsibility for my son not having his mother. But he never said, I'm sorry for hiring hitmen to kill Chandra. And it was because of my actions that my son is suffering from cerebral palsy. See, his apology was very vague. If that was a, a so-called, uh, it was no admission of guilt as far as I'm concerned. Y'all might want to say I'm a little hard on him, but I don't think so. I think if you go back and listen to this 15-page letter that he wrote, it's full of arrogance. It's full of pompousness. It's still full of uh, the same bullshit character that I heard before he went in jail. He's still talking about, well, you know, she was never my woman. You know, I didn't feel nothing for her. No way, you know. And she was just somebody I used to fuck and, you know blah, 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 this, and blah, 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 that, and so, you know, that's why, you know, as if that minimizes or justifies you killing her, or having Van Brett Walkins kill her. Listen. I can't believe he's going to be getting out in October of this year. I have friends who are in jail for longer time for for weed. I think it's a travesty that this damn justice system is so fucking screwed up that I too am coming to the conclusion, as my brother said to me, you think that the the the, uh, the statue with the blindfold on on the courthouse is because justice is blind? Is that what they really have convinced you to believe? What you should be believing is she's putting that damn blindfold on so she won't see what the fuck is going on inside them walls. But she already know. She already know. And Ray Carew, I hope you hear this video. The streets are talking. You are so arrogant that and pompous, I don't see what I need to see in a man. I don't hear what I need to hear in a man who is responsible for one human being being dead and the other one being some extremely severely chronically handicap. He will need supervision for the rest of his life. He needs 
extra kind of love and support his whole life? And how dare you think as a complete stranger, but just because he shared the same DNA with you, that you can walk your ass into his life. Ooh, Chandra's a better woman than I ever could be because let me tell you something. You and even though she said that she forgive you because she have to because her, the little boy is too much of a combination of you and Sharika. The, the, the child, the, the young man looks just like the both of you. So that's what's devastating in itself. And he's such a perfect combination of the both of them. But the fact that you killed this woman's daughter and you killed this boy's mother and you can say what you're saying to me, it's absolutely insane. It's absolutely insane. Because you don't have any remorse. You think what you said is noble. You think what you said really makes sense. But we know you won't be around long. But she came back with the ultimate. She says, you know, how does he know that I'm going to die before him? He's 44. How does he know? And she ain't never killed nobody. You have. So the laws of karma are already stacked against your punk ass anyway. And then for you to make a pompous statement like that is really insane. So then with that being said, she says she can tell that you're still the same arrogant, self-centered <laughs> individual that you was when you went in there. And I'm going to tell you something. I'm going to tell you something. That dude's still making excuses for what he's did. And he wouldn't get nowhere near my damn grandson. So he can kill him. So he can finish the job. Dude, you got to be out of your mind. All right, y'all. I got to go. I can't even take it. Because the more I think about it, the angrier I get. The nerve of these damn people. Yo, Woo. all right. If you like what you hear, please like, subscribe, and share. I, I'm going to go. And I'll see you next time in the Mental House Sports Edition. Bye-bye.